Oh, it looks like we're on. Yeah, go on. Yeah. It's the old bar podcast. <laughs> yeah. Hello and welcome to the old bar podcast. I'm Joel. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's attracting one. Night. I've been, uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> that was good. That caught me off of wares. Uh, this week we're joined by Shove, Elsa, Adrian. How you doing? Good, mate. Good, mate. Good, good, good. mate. Yeah, the old... Got to put it in there. How, how have we been? Good. Right. Good. Yeah. You know, well, day in paradise, living the dream. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I feel that pain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's been a day. <laughs> We've all had a day and it's a Monday, so we deserve a, a day. So, Shuff, you're in the band? In the band. Um, been in it for a while. Elsa, it's a bit fresher. Yeah, I've been in the band for about five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, since um, February or March? Um, yeah. About, yeah, March. Yeah. Like, after the Relentless Festival that Christina Papp um, put on. Like, That's right. March, I remember yeah. which we spoke about it at the time. That was a pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was rad. Like, so, four you, days yeah. of, like, accessible gigs in yeah. Thornbury. And I live in Thornbury, so I was just like, yeah. It was, like, out the front door. Yeah. I don't have to Perfect. catch a... Bus or anything. Yeah. yeah. Did you play with Shove or that or was it after you came in? No. So um, I briefly met Bella probably last year. Actually, at the last chance, you know, now that we're name dropping. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I bumped into her at Relentless and we had like a random chat um, just about like playing guitar and stuff. Um, and then followed her on Instagram the next day and she was like, oh, actually, um, I know you play guitar, but would you be interested in playing bass for shop? And I was like, yep. <laughs> so, yeah, then I, you know, auditioned for the band using a bass from Aldi. Hey, what? Yeah. Hold on. And then, you know, I felt, you know, they all agreed um, that I was all right. And then, yeah, went and bought a little short scale from a random dude off Facebook Marketplace and uh, learned Where the bass. Were? So, yeah. Jesus, that's a pretty fucking random story. Is it? Well, yeah, it's got all. It's like you know, like an instant join, and but yeah. and then the Aldi bass, which yeah. I, fucking what does an Aldi bass play like? Um, I mean, you know, I didn't play bass until I played the Aldi bass. So yeah. for me, I don't know any better. Um, but I'll be honest, like it's pretty shit. Now I'm playing like a real bass. But yeah, right. No, you know, no hate to Aldi. I fucking love Aldi, but um, yeah, yeah, I've um, got a lot of love yeah. for that. Yeah. Store as well, yeah. But yeah, they never yeah. played a musical instrument from there. They they bought out like guitar pedals like years <laughs> ago, probably like eight years ago, and had like distortions and stuff that people were playing. Oh, did it was you get pretty one? Sick. Really? No, I do know some people that had them, and they were like, "You're just like they sound awfully good," and you're just like, "But like, how long is it going to last for?" Well, yeah. Well, I don't know. Like most, hey mate, can you turn your phone off over there? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he always jails at me about it. Um, yeah, fuck. Aldi distortion pedals. Yeah, and I think Do they, they might have done a delay as well. Oh, yeah, that's gone too far. Yeah. I, I, I use a Behringer delay. Do you? Yeah. Why? Oh, I suppose. I asked why. It's just like I got given it like so years ago. It's just like I use it. Fair enough. I like it delays. Yeah. Like. Pff. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> yeah. Settle down there, Ed Sheeran. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Um... Yeah, but I'm fascinated at the fact that Aldi would bring out like branded musical instruments. I mean, I actually didn't buy it. I even borrowed it. I don't even buy an Aldi bass. Like, I borrowed an Aldi bass. That's, you know. But, um. It worked. Yeah. You obviously worked all yeah, right. I mean, it you got the band. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. Fucking hell. I can't hate on Aldi. No. That's yeah. a crazy way to join a band, though. Yeah, I don't know. Like, that's kind of how you join bands, isn't it? Like, hanging out at gigs. And then yeah, you're just is. like, hey. You're cool to have a beer with. Do you want to join yeah. a band? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, well, so, I mean, that's how it's like no one's got a notice board anymore. Yeah. Like, Inst- well, Instagram is the notice board. Yeah. And well, it's a way easier way to contact people. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even have Instagram until February this year. So. Really? <laughs> yeah. How but, did you keep off that for so long? Um, I think I had it in like, I had it when I was at uni and I just deleted it because I was like, can't be bothered. This is back in the day when people used like, you know, everything was like orange. 
yeah. on Instagram. And people were taking photos of like birds and shit. Yeah, yeah. No, it's like not like that anymore. But yeah. um yeah, I was like really out of the loop. And then I was like, Oh, I'm missing out on all these gigs. I'm having to like message my friends on Facebook being like, Have you seen anything on Instagram? And I'm like, I should just fucking make yeah. an account. Like this is ridiculous. Yeah. You, so yeah. yeah. The only issue is like Instagram's making me use my Google calendar. Because oh. I have to like write it down when shit's on. Yeah, true. Because I was yeah, just yeah. like, you have no idea. Yeah. Like you see the story and you're like, oh, sick, I'll do that. And then it's like, when is anything on? Yeah, yeah. Facebook is better like in terms of events for yeah, notifications. Fuck making an event. Yeah. 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 The, the people on Facebook scare me. Yeah. Like I've just, I haven't used it in months. I, yeah, I remembered to like the shove page on Facebook like last week. So. Oh, nice. And I'm, I'm on the like. header That's of the weird. Facebook page. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I haven't been on Facebook in maybe two months. Just drives me insane. Yeah. Oh, it's like people who prove that we should have licenses for kids. Like, if yeah. you don't have a kid, like, get a permit. Yeah, because otherwise you're on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. 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 I just don't get the mentality behind it, a lot of it. But I mean, even from a band perspective, I'm like, I get it. Like, they're important tools. But fuck yeah, for anything else, like. You're not getting your news from there. Yeah. I mean, who who does do the events on Facebook for Shove? Um, I think Ham does okay. sometimes. Cool, yeah. So, shout out to Ham. Shout yeah, out to shout Ham. Out to Ham. Yeah, yeah, shout Thanks out to Bella as well. Yep. Yeah. No, I, I'd be fucking... I'm terrible at it. But yeah. I like Instagram, but I don't go on that either. No, like, Bella does all the Insta. Yeah. Um, because they're good at it. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, it works. Yeah. But yeah. That's a crazy word. How did you join Shove then? I started Shove. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that was I, I spent fucking years trying to find someone to convince to be in a band where I didn't play drums. Yeah, that true. That's the hardest part. Being like, oh, yeah, do you want to be in a band? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, like, I'll play guitar. I'm like, oh, maybe not, Adrian. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a l- lack of faith in. Well, that's either a, a strong endorsement of your drumming ability <laughs> or a lack of faith in you as a person. <laughs> Um, no, it's probably just a lack of faith in myself as a person. Um, but yeah, got Jim on board and like me and Jim had been in shit sex yeah. together and I'd played drums and they'd played guitar. Yeah. And yeah, he just was like, yeah, I'll, I'll hang out with you every Tuesday night for a year. Yeah. Some of the things that come out of shit sex. Wow. Oh, it was good times. Yeah. It was wild. Yeah. Yeah. Like you didn't know if we we're going to play sometimes, but like. It yeah. worked. Yeah, it worked. But yeah, but I mean, even just some of the, the, the bands that came out of the, the ashes of shit sex. Yeah. Shit. Well, it was good, like, um, shit, I don't, no, we didn't call it shit fest. That was the b- bits of shit one. That was the bits of shit one. We right? used to have a Queen's birthday gig at um, the Tote and we'd put on a barbecue and like each of the bands we'd put on would bring a salad or something. It was when the tote used to have barbecues and stuff. Yeah, I remember this. And like Space Junk bought like the most delicious sandwich. Like, oh no, like pasta, um, salads and That's stuff. It was like, I, would, I would not be wanting to be, eat any of eat, it. Eat those. Like, yeah. I cannot imagine the types of fluids that would be involved in that. <laughs> but it was like every band yeah, that nice. started those lineups, like the first three bands, the next year they were huge, like Hextet, Cable Ties and like Shrimp Witch. Yeah. Like, yeah. It was yeah. good time, so back then, like a lot of garage, like just good garage punk. Yeah, it was just fun. Yeah, very inclusive. Yeah, I don't know. well, bits of shit. Yeah, bits of shit. Shit fest was always. Oh, that was fun. What did they do end up doing four or five of them. I don't know. I only went to two. I think. I don't remember. Um, well, I might, but it, that was a long time ago. So I'm not gonna beat myself over. Up over nah, that. nah. It's it's amazing that we remember it at all. That it happened. Yeah, um, amazing that you remembered that the, the fact that Space Junk made a salad. Oh, I was blown away. I want to like, know. Which I think Eugene made it. Y- Eugene. Yeah. Really. Yeah, I think Yui made it. Oh. Um, I could see that. I could see Mark doing it. Yeah. And Brand uh, and Brendan, but I think Yui might have made it. Yeah, um, right. Surprise chef. It's delicious. Yeah. Um. That's what you thought. Oh, well, space, it's good to see Space Junk playing again as well. Yeah, yeah. I haven't, I haven't been able to check them out yet, but like they're doing a lot of the regional stuff as well. Yeah, it's well, I nice. think that they're kind of half-based 
in Ballarat and half based in Melbourne now between everyone. So, yeah, makes sense. But yeah, I know they're recording. I know they're oh, recorded. So, and apparently it's top notch. So, that's all that matters now. Like, it's great to play gigs every now and again, but like, I feel like since lockdowns and stuff, the weight on just listening to stuff online and stuff is bigger. Like yeah. The, your spread. Whereas like yeah. beforehand, there was so much more weight on playing every single gig. Like you thought you had to like play yeah. two gigs a week. A week, yeah. Well, well, now you're just like, actually, if I put out in like a four track EP every few months, yeah. I actually get more followers. Yeah. Or like whatever you, you're got building. You've got more to promote. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what I shove up to? Um, we've got a couple of gigs coming up where we just played a show at the gym. That was good. Hey, was crawl. can yeah. I ask? Yeah. Is the gym one of the most exciting venues to play at the moment? Oh, yes. Yeah, so should I not have name dropped another venue? No, no, no. That's realize. perfect because I'm obsessed <laughs> yeah. with the – like because I never ever get to go yeah. out to gigs much. But everything I see from that front bar of the gym, it just makes me want to be there. It, it gets like absolutely rammed. Like I do feel a bit bad for the bartenders. Yeah. I mean – you know, I shall, I'm sure they know what's going on, but yeah. I feel a bit bad because it's like, it gets so rammed, like, especially yeah. when they had that, like, which show I think was the biggest one oh they've had God. recently. Um, like, they had, like, Black Lips, I think, yeah. recently as well. Um, but, yeah, like, it's a cool venue, yes, to yeah. answer your question. Yeah, yes. it just looks exciting. It yeah. looks like it looks like something you want to be at. Yeah, like, it's a know. cool... I'm always a fan of a gig that's kind of like... It's... Like no barrier to entry, like yep. it's free, it's all ages, yep. and then it's like sometimes it's announced at the last minute, yep. and you're just like, oh, it's a Wednesday, and I'm fucking free. Like, yeah, I'll go see this huge band in yep. a tiny room. So, yeah, yeah. I think the, I don't know what the atmosphere of playing the the gem would be like with that. I reckon it'd just be one of the most amazing experiences to play that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, it's pretty great. Um, it's interesting though. Like I didn't realize till the other week that there's a big room upstairs as well yeah. where they could actually do some and there's a bar up there yeah so they, they could do some like gigs where it wasn't um like in the front bar yeah if they wanted to yeah it would well, be interesting but it's the they have the there's a couple of rooms up there there's a really big one but they, it's the dot di- they still do the dining up there don't they i think you can hire it out i know it's oh, really? like the whole place was hired out for a russell crowe film like a month or so ago what's is, does it look Really old or something? Like, I think it? they like pulled down everything. Like they changed it into like a different looking pub and then pulled down everything. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. Hollywood magic. Yeah, Hollywood magic. Hold on, where, Russell Crowe was walking around Fitzroy. Yeah. Right. So oh, this would have been. Is this when Rusty played? Didn't he play it like Jared? Yeah. Didn't it? What's his nah, name? Like, he, that was like a or yeah, yeah. That was yeah. a bit later. Really? Yeah. Okay. I, 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 that was more recent, I think, that they played Cherry. I saw his Russell 30 odd foot of grunts first ever show in Melbourne. Oh, what really? did I say? 10 foot? I, yeah, it was, I slightly underestimated. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, Russell. Oh, it's, yeah. So, yeah, sorry, Russell. Yeah. Sorry, Rusty. Yeah. But yeah, I watched the first ever gig and it was terrible. I lived above the Central Club in Richmond. Yeah. And for months, they just had this like um, thing that said, Russell Crowe's band, which is, we were just like, what? And then it changed like the week of, it said Russell Crowe's 30 odd foot of grunt across the marquee. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, I've got to see this. So I was just, I was working at the corner and I personally like started late so I could walk down and watch. No, I purposely finished early so I could walk home and have a look at Russell Crowe's band and I, like stuck my head in because I could just I you know, and so and you didn't write it. You would. I lasted about a minute. Okay. Wait, Do you reckon it's a Tim Allen reference? Like the foot of grunt. I don't know. So, 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 have you been talking to Leanne? What? No. <laughs> you what have the, been, haven't you? No. All oh, right. <laughs> what about Tim Allen? Yeah. No, nah, I I just actually like it's on like a streaming service. I just the other day. Saw it pop up. I don't yeah. watch TV much, but I, the read-up was just like, this is a show about men learning to be better men or something. That's right. Well, And I was just like, what the anyway, fuck? Anyway, like, I, so I was like, I, would wa- I watched like the first two episodes. I was just like, 
I kind of get it, but he's like such a awful man. But yes, he is trying to be a slightly less awful man. Did he have like a? Did he have like a coke or like a? Yeah, scandal? before well, that was well yeah. before like okay. he was an actor. So, yeah, he was. Oh, he was okay. still doing. He was doing comedy. Yeah, and he got done with like fucking almost a kilo of coke. Oh, okay. And he, he, this sums up Tim Allen as a human being because he's a piece of shit. Yeah, Which, <laughs> of course he is. Yeah, so he fucking ratted on everyone and only served like seven months. Like he was getting sent away for like twenty years, and he fucking dogged on everyone. And but imagine going on TV after that. Like everyone knows, and they're yeah. in jail and, and working watching for you. Disney, like yeah. the world's, you know, they're not exactly the Disney's not the nicest bunch of people in the world. And then yeah, Tim Allen. It's amazing he's still alive. If they, yeah. all, they were all watching him from jail, like sharpening their fucking. Yeah, but yeah, but I've started watching. I'll, I'll the secret shame. Last week, due to stress induced, I to zone out. I need like things that, on television that are just dumb, so I can pay no attention to them and completely zone out. So I started watching Home Improvement, and started enjoying it as well, which is usually doesn't happen. So, yeah, it's been my secret shame for a week. And I thought you'd Leanne had said, ah. Oh, nah, 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 it just popped up. Yeah. So, yeah, that's weird. But, yeah, I, I don't know if it would be. I, I could be. Wait, what would 30-odd foot of Grant be fucking referenced to? Not the music. What is it? Like, is it like a blues rock kind of thing? It's bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's it's the genre. a fucking bullshit kind of thing. Okay. I don't, I don't really want to like okay. talk shit about Russell Crowe. No, me either. Punch me. <laughs> but, like, yeah, well, rock up to my house. Right. Didn't he punch a boat on South Park? Wasn't he going around punching <laughs> yeah, boats? He did. And yeah, shit? that's yeah. right. But yeah, I don't know. We'll just get bloody friends of Rom to stick up for us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, throw them in, throw them to the wolves. But yeah, scary, scary, scary the fact that, well, I mean, he makes music. Good on him. Like, you can't deny anyone that. But yeah. So yeah. you won't be having him at the last chance anytime soon. I wouldn't be fucking paying him how much he wants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Well, I think he. I think he's worth like. I think he's got some pretty out there demands. So you don't think he's doing it like for the love of music? No, I don't think he's doing it. Well, I think he probably is, but okay. I still think that he's like. Got, it's misguided love. Yeah, it's misguided yeah. love. Okay. Well, I imagine he loves music, but yeah. he's probably got like. You know, he's probably got some. I suppose he has to pay people, but I mean. He'd have a lot of money, wouldn't he? He'd have so much money. What have you'd you, hope. What does a movie star get paid? I don't, I don't know. Well, I, don't know. I mean, you know, what, the what, what's the last big movie he's been in? Again, no offense to Russell, but I, I haven't. I don't know. <laughs> I could not for the life of me I would name know. a film yeah. other than Gladiator. That yeah, well, that in. that would be my first reference point too. What's that like? Two thousand. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So yeah. like that one where he was a, it could have been a good film, but he was such a piece of shit cop that couldn't have solved the case. It was like drug related. And he ran like a team and he was all fumbly. Oh, wasn't all he right. in a beautiful mind? I think that's all even right. earlier. That's know. even earlier. Yeah, I don't, don't know. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't tell. I remember LA Confidential. Okay. Yeah. That's about that and Gladiator. Poor Rusty. All right. I don't know, like, you can't like them all. It's like mates' bands. You don't have to like your mates' bands. <laughs> yeah, but you have to tell them, you know. No, you don't. Don't you? No. Why not? Because, like, it's not fair on them. Oh, you, you mean, know... like, oh, don't... You just, like... You still go, and you're just, like... You're oh, still I like, supportive. You're like, yeah. oh, I like this, this, and bit, but I didn't like this thing. It's not really what I... It's not like. your thing. Yeah. yeah, I get it. Yeah. I would never do that. I wouldn't either. I would lie I'd through my like, teeth. Yeah, I'd... 100% lie. I have to though, you know. I was thinking about it the other day because I was like, oh, should I get into like um, reviewing gigs and stuff? And I was like, well, I'd have to be honest and be like, yeah. these guys are going to be good in five gigs. Yeah. You're not going right to get, now, you're no, not gonna get any not more better. door spots if yeah. you want to do that job. <laughs> yeah, I don't want door spots. Yeah. I do, kind of. I do want some Everyone door spots. Everyone wants a fucking door spot. Yeah. It's just like... You go up and you, it's the way you find out who's like a dick and who's a good person. Yeah. Good people go, oh, I think I'm on the door. Yeah. Dicks are like, I'm on the door. Yeah. Even though you know you're <coughs> on the door, you still have to say, yeah. I think I'm on the yeah, door. Yeah, I'm, I'm I think I'm on the door person. Yeah. But it's, it's just knowing nice. that I'm on the door. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's just the delivery is like it should be. I think I'm on the door. Yeah. 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 It's just like oh, I think I was next, even I'm though you knew you were new. Yeah. 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 Now I'm starting to wonder if I'm a bit of a dick when I'm on the door. Maybe I am. I don't know. It's early in the night, though. What tonight? No, no. Oh, oh, in the get, night when you're like entering the venue, yeah. to be asked that. So, like, surely most of the time, the being a dick to anyone <laughs> yeah. isn't much later at night. Yeah, yeah. I mean, most of the time, if I'm on the door, I'll try and pay anyway. Um, unless it's sold out, and then I'm just like, well, yeah, you know. Thanks for putting me on the door. Yeah, and then I just, I'm a gremlin. If I'm on the door on a sold out show. Yeah. Yeah. You have to, yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. Door lists are funny things. How do you guys choose who you put on the door? Uh, don't ask me. You don't? Well, I've only done one gig. Oh, you didn't have a door list. Gig. So, yeah. Really? What have you been doing for the last three months of rehearsing? Been, rehearsing. you know, making sure that I'm up to scratch and not, really? you know. Yeah. 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 I also like it was mind blowing. Like rocked up to first rehearsal and knew like three quarters of the set. Like and I was just like I was so I'm so used to like first jam. It's just like oh what what songs do you guys have? Yeah, like, right. even knowing like that we had well, songs. Is, how like, did you do huge. that? Did you just uh, listening to the songs? Just listen. I mean, like Jim. Shout out to Jim. Um, also gave sent me like a word document that had like what key. Every song was in, so I would, like could be sure I was in the right kind of region. But yeah. um, yeah, just listen to it. So yeah, did your homework basically? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he sent like the note names, but not like the riff. So then it was yeah. like how Alsa feels those notes will feel like the rhythm and stuff a has bit it, more. Yeah, that's has right. It, yeah, has it yeah. changed much then? Yeah, it, it has. Yeah, even tonally, like we did, like it's great. It's a completely different bass tone, which means I've kind of changed my guitar tone to sit with that so it's like a fresh start. it's sharp point three like yeah sharp point yeah. three yeah that's that's interesting i never ever thought oh 3.0 3.0 i'd rather be 3.0 than point three yeah. yeah 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 okay well that's interesting that's what yeah. I mean, that's a way to do it like yeah come in and actually know what you're doing yeah well, but be able to put your own spin on it too yeah and that's I, yeah I guess, like, I'm not really trying to. Um, so this is turning into a fucking triple R interview. Um, I'm not trying to like put my own spin on what's existing. Yeah. In the uh, discography, but um, you know, going forward with the writing and stuff, it'll definitely, you know, I'm a different bass player to Jim. So yeah, have you been um, writing? Be different. Stuff? Yeah, we've been doing a bit of yeah, bit of writing yeah. and jamming. It's like writing's really important for us. Like constantly putting stuff out, especially having a new me- like member. It's like we need to write stuff so that less of the set is old stuff. Yeah. Um, like w- before the weekend after Relentless, like, oh, that week was when Jim came to us. He's like, I've got so much on. Like, yeah. I need to take a step away. And, like, it's lovely. Like, love Jim. Um, still one, like, still my best mate. Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, we were going to go into record an EP. Like, we are going to do Shove 3 and had, like, I think five or six songs ready to go. Gonna record with Alicia Slay and stuff, but with the change, we're just like, oh, we've got to do an album now. Yeah, like stuff doing like even um, putting those songs out, and we could have recorded them with Jim and put it out, but it would have been like the old product and not what we're yeah. doing now. Yeah. So it's like, got to ro- record an album because even if we want to use three of those songs, we've got to have ninety percent Elsa. Yeah. On yeah, an move album. Forward. Yeah. 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 So is that writing group effort then? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was definitely the hardest part of like lockdowns and stuff for me. Like be, being my first guitar band, I was so excited. And I'd like come down, come up with riffs. But then because I couldn't see anyone, I'd be like, oh, I've come up with the chorus for it. I'll come up with a bridge. And then I'd bring it in and it was too constructed. Yeah. Whereas like it all has to be like, oh, I've got a riff. Yeah. And, and then, then maybe like because we record everything on phones, like maybe later, like I'll come up with something that like I'm like, oh, that thing from back then, or like you can kind of grab things from later, or like things just happen from jams in the yeah yeah. It's nice. It's yeah, a bit more of a boiler you, room. Yeah, time. well, yeah, you can't do it by yourself. 
No. Like, which is a lovely thing. It's yeah. like, yeah, no one's solo. So you, yeah. you do have gigs coming up though. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a fair few. Yeah. Really? In a pipeline, yeah. Yeah. We're playing the Enzyme launch this Friday. Oh, yeah. At 3.03. Yeah. Um. Yep, with no class, sepsis. That's a yeah, that's yeah. a great lineup. Yeah, and yeah. three oh three, it's a good venue. Yeah, yeah. good old Jimmy, um, good old butcher shop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was always wondering why it was a slope floor. Yeah, what? I was just like, was it for the blood to run down? Yeah, yeah. Okay. it was a butcher shop. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, easy, not, easy to clean. You know, it's sorry to sound like I'm a hundred years old, but there's no butchers along the high street now. They've all gone. Hey. Do you know what? It's a really interesting. Yeah. Like, well, well, for us, it's not so much. Like, yeah. We we obviously the last chance across from the Queen Vic Market. We live around the corner, so we've got across there, which is great. But there are no butchers anywhere in Melbourne. Yeah. Like Co- you've Co- got the still got a around. bunch. Ha- yeah, but yeah. when you get out to the suburbs, but when you're in in Is Melbourne, Co- suburbs. Am I in suburbs? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. You are a fancy suburb. It's fancy. But still, yeah. still a suburb. But yeah, like the, I know there's one along Smith Street now, but it's a fancy. Like a bougie one. Yeah, real bougie. Yeah. Okay. Like, you get the bougie ones that, yeah. that you can't afford to buy anything from. Yeah. But like, it, you know, the only one, there is one up the road here too on Victoria Street, but it's basically built to supply the Queen Vic Market. But yeah, it's interesting the fact, even like fruit, fruit shops. Like you yeah. never go out to the suburbs to find them. Oh, fruit shop, nice. Yeah. There's grocers, fruit shop. Yeah, wagon. but like, oh, they're like more the independent supermarket yeah. things, aren't they? Yeah. Or Whole Foods. Yeah. 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 Oh, Whole Foods. I mean, who's shopping there in this economy? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Who's got a people? That's a, <laughs> people sometimes I get, I walk past there and I see people with trolleys. <laughs> like what? What a house? Have, yeah. have you heard? How many like, houses Have you read the you fucking have, news? Yeah. Like what the hell? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you're going shopping with the trolley anyway. You're doing pretty well, aren't you? <laughs> we're a basket people. Yeah. Unless we're getting kitty litter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I'm a, I, I do like an hour walk every lunch break and like every second lunch I grab three things from Woolies. I, yeah. Yeah. Much I'm, easier. I'm Woolies, do not you, Coles. Yeah, I'm Woolies Even though well. I worked at Coles. Oh, really? So I, but you're a Nanga then. No, nah, no, nah, just everything makes sense in the Woolies where it is. No, well, Coles, like, well, has... swap it out. It's a bit brighter. I think, like, yeah. the lights are less tungsten. They're more a white light. I'd love to compare their radio. I think Woolies has too much, like, surveillance for me these days. Ah, Coles yeah. doesn't have that much. Did you... But I'm an Aldi shopper, just, oh, yeah. just putting it just out there. But, out. but yeah. Woolies, what are the Aldi too much surveillance. Sh- like, potatoes, like, that's what it comes down to me. <sighs> They're all right. Sorry, just breezed into the mic. It probably sounds horrible. Um, no, they sound... They sound... They taste all right to me, but... I mean, I don't think I have the greatest standards for potatoes. produce. Yeah, potatoes. Yeah, um, you know, I wouldn't know the difference in taste yeah. of potato. They yeah. don't taste the same. I know, I'm a Dutch creams guy. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. Those, like, you go to like a, ones. just a food shop yeah. and they're like three bucks 99, like same price as like washed potatoes. Like I used to think that washed potatoes were more expensive than the dirty ones because they'll clean and they're just the same. Yeah. Not realizing there's obviously multiple types. Yeah, not just there's potato. Like, yeah, so we just call it potato. <laughs> just we just because it's just. It's like potato. oh, that's red potato. That's potato. That's mm. dirty potato. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. You hang out with enough like Tasmanians, and they're oh, just like you learn that. about potatoes. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Tasmanians, beer and potato. That's all they talk about, and you know. But they do them all good. Well, apparently so. Beautiful beers, yeah. beautiful potatoes. Yeah. We went through the potato thing when there was the great chip shortage of 20, oh, yeah. uh, 2022, 2023. Yeah, those were yeah. bad times. Yeah, terrible. Roger did make the only sweet potato chips that I've ever had that were good. Really? And then I found out how he made them good. Cornstarch? I think it was cornstarch. Yeah. Because he's like, the the starch. Is the cornstarch on them would make them crispy. crispy because I thought you were going to say something like, like duck fat or something. No, like. I was just like, when no. I was, I was like, you just like made the first sweet potato chips that weren't soggy pieces yeah. of disappointment. Well, see, it's funny because the bar staff here cracked it. Because they, they, they eat enough chips in shift to like basically, you know, support a small country. 
i.e. Tasmania. And when we had had to make the call and go, hey, we're going to swap over to sweet potato, there was just outrage. It's like, no, like just do anything, like get chips back. But then even the people that hardcore hated them came around and were like, yep, sweet potato. It's the way. Yeah. Yeah. If you do them right, but like everyone else just like, I don't know, it's like the difference between like frozen chips in the oven. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, this is not yeah. amazing. No. They're not. Although Leanne sometimes buys frozen chips that go in the oven that are really delicious. I can't Leanne remember. knows how to shop though. Yeah, Leanne's at the egg and shop. Yeah, Leanne's a bit of a foodie. Well, she, I won't say anything. She's still within earshot. She can cook. Yeah. Yeah. Which is I, I was shattered I wasn't within driving distance during lockdowns when you guys were doing the dinner runs. Oh, uh, yeah. I was just like just across the border. I was just like, oh, oh all man. I want is Leanne's home cooking. Oh, the, that pasticcio. Pasticcio. I'm not going to ever say it right. I bet her mother watches this one as well. Then she'll be angry if I say it. You're getting a slap. Yeah. yeah. Um. If, yeah. Literally. Yeah. Um. It's like and Leanne cooks it better than a mother. Ooh. And I said it. Wow. You yeah. said it I said just it then. To, yeah. Well, I said it again. That's why I'm like, guarantee this is the only one the mother-in-law will okay. ever watch, and she'll be like on me again. But I said it at Christmas. Because oh, it's like no. traditional to have the pastizio. Wait, wait, I mean, what, what what the fuck were you thinking? Yeah, I know. Like, it's a bad move all around. But yeah, and Leanne's pastizio, it's just, it's up there. Did someone like, did she like put a gun to your head? And Leanne? Say, well, no, but I, her mother And say was, like, <laughs> you must compare <laughs> yeah. and tell me whose is better. Well, no, I got That's asked. the only situation where I feel I, like. I think it was her brothers that kind of backed me into the corner because I said, oh, Leanne cooks really good pastizio. And they're like, Leanne can't cook. And I'm like, I'm fucking telling you. Okay. <laughs> and they're like, how good? It's not better than mum's. And I'm like. So it was said in uh, defense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I was like, eh, it is. Like, it's much better. Yeah. But I, that happens. You know, Greek families. Mm. Yeah. Pastizio. It becomes a bit of a thing. It's delicious. Like, it's delicious. I, I can't wait to go to the contest and just eat both. Yeah. Well, we should do it. Well, but yeah, I mean, I think we're going to do it again soon. And the vegan one, I think, is going to be even... Like, because we did the vegan one last year. But like the vegan products have come forward so far with the mints and stuff that I reckon the, it will rate against the meat one. Yeah. It's all about the nutmeg. So and the bechamel, and you can do a vegan bechamel better than you can do a a normal bechamel. So I can't believe you got like vegan Greek food. That's wild. Oh, yeah, I f- I feel like growing up it was just like or so you're having vegetables, so fish. It's yeah, like fish is vegetable. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I can't eat fish. I don't know why. Oh, hold on. Oh, get quiet now. We're getting in trouble. Nothing. You're interrupting. Yeah, she came to here. She heard Pastitio two months. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so three o three. Yeah, three o three. Um, what else is announced? Yeah, I'm, um, I'm having difficulty clam, remembering what's been announced. Yeah, we're playing with clam. Playing with clam, but that's Ooh. in a few months. At, Sep- September six sixteen. I was looking yeah, at that yesterday. At Northcote Social Club. Oh no, no sorry. It's the curtain. 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 Yeah. Oh, I love the curtain. Is that, yeah. Is that a launch? No, um, I think it's just a random show for a random them. show. I think awesome. it's. I think they're returning from Europe, and that's the. Oh. That's their like comeback show. I nice. want to say. But yeah, we got some fun stuff. Like, I think we're going to head up to Sydney and play with our cast and like. Yep. Went up there earlier this year. It was the first time I'd ever like played interstate. It was like big really? tick of the bucket list. Yeah, I'd never played interstate. I was just like I'd played like. Um, Wollongong. Oh no, um, Warnable and like, like close to the border, but I'd never played interstate. So, yeah, that's like eight hundred kilometers from the border. Yeah, <laughs> off from the south. You're just Australia. like I'm getting, I'm getting closer to yeah, the border. Yeah, yeah. inching closer. Why, why did you play in Warnable? So like, a uh, I just had like, no, I was in a shit prog band that just okay. like played. And they love prog. Uh, out in oh, yeah, out in the country. Yeah, yeah. really? Do they? Oh, they were back then. It was like around the Tamed part of the time. Ah. Pond and just heaps of hippies. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't, know. I don't. I don't mind. Yeah. Whatever. No. Yeah. Band's a band. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, well, I don't think I could play Warrnambool. I'd be too scared. Yeah. There's some people there. <laughs> probably yeah, I gotta, You know, yeah. My mum. <laughs> I met your mum. She's lovely. Did you meet my mum? Yeah, like um, the festival last oh, year. Oh, Down South. Down South, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. She was yeah. there. I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's lovely. My mum meets some random people. And she asked me about randomly. And I'm like, who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> she goes, you know that one. I'm like, no. But yeah, she must meet some people. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's probably one reason why I could never play a show in Warnable. Mum. Mum. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm going to have to play these Sydney shows and I'm from Sydney. So. Are you from Sydney originally? Yeah, so my dad's probably going to come and I don't know. I don't know how that's going to Have you up. ever played in front of a parent? No. I mean, like my dad can play... So, I've played guitar with him. With him, but not. Yeah, but um. In front of him. I'm not really worried about that. I'm more worried about, like, my dad's just like an absolutely loose unit. So, I'm a bit. I don't know how it'll go socially. You reckon he'll have a good time? Meeting people. I mean, I reckon he'll have a good time. I don't know. Could go either way. You know. That's the. uh, yeah. What kind of loose are we space? talking? Like good time loose? Oh, just like, you know, did a lot of things back in the day and uh, it's not really, you know, can't really, uses a lot of 80s bogan slang and. Oh, so. But just very he's... like, I'm trying not to be rude, but he's just like, he's a pretty like unintentionally funny dude. Yeah. And like, you know. Good. Yeah. He was like a surfer hippie back in like yeah. seventies, so he's very like he's a bit off with the he's he's a bit off with the fairies. Yeah, I've got so, a uh, yeah, I've got an uncle like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, that can't be, you, you can have four conversations with him about the same thing within the time frame of about thirty seconds, and then he'll be like, and you'll go, you're about to bring the same thing up, aren't you? And yeah, it'll be all within, yeah. That's pretty funny. He's a really nice, really nice guy. But yeah, again, unintentionally funny. Yeah, we okay. were at my. Uh, this is, is it this kind of unintentionally funny? We we're at my aunt's funeral, and my uncle's sitting there having a conversation with me. We're having a great conversation, and he goes, "Where's Kay?" And I've just went, "Pardon?" And he's looking around. He goes, "I can see Rio. And I see Scully. Where's Kay?" And I'm just like, "Mate." <laughs> Funeral. No, that's 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 a whole new level. <laughs> that's a new level. Yeah. I don't yeah. like my dad's like quite smart. He's just like he's just not really like I don't think like my dad. I'm from the northern beaches in Sydney, and so it's like my dad just has no. I don't think he's been into the city for like thirty years. Yeah. So like he doesn't know how to like catch a bus or like you know yeah. stuff like that. The north beaches do that to people, don't they? Everyone I yeah. meet from there just like it's the best place. I've never been. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the best place. No, but uh, that's just my opinion. But um, so yeah. it's, a, it's a pretty big span of area, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It encompasses a lot. Yeah, um, I guess like I'd kind of compare it, kind of like the Ninch. Yeah. In a way. Yeah. Where it's like someone from Portsea is very different to someone from Rye. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Where it's like someone from Dy is very different to someone from Newport. Yeah. Right. So yeah. It's kind of it's like their own cultural a cultural enclaves. Yeah. Up the coast. Yeah. Is it, I don't know, the geography of it, is it all pretty joined together or is it separated there? Yeah, it's pretty joined together. It'll yeah. take you like, oh, it takes like an hour to get up and down it. Like yeah, right. Some, like, once you get to like kind of Newport, Palm Beach and stuff, that's like, I don't even know if that's even considered still on all the beaches, but that's like, that's, people have like holiday houses there because it's so far. Yeah, right. <laughs> Even though it's like technically, so you could almost like some people I went to high school with lived in Newport and yeah. they would catch the bus and it would take like an hour and a half every day. Fuck hell. So, yeah. The, yeah, the, the Coburg, like Coburg, hey. but northern suburbs. Like. I don't know, like Coburg's still less than 10K. Is it? Yeah, Pentridge is like just under 10 I remember going to like a showroom of like some of the apartments years ago. I suppose I wanted to go into the wall before they'd built the shopping center stuff. I just yeah. wanted to go into the wall of Pentridge. Where do you um, think Coburg? Coburg is really not that 
Yeah, no. Suburban. Like I walk I here. Just, I do it in terms of uh, when I have to drive up Sydney Road. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I always have to drive up Sydney Road at the exact worst time. Yeah. Yeah. Last Chance is only like an hour <laughs> and 20 to an hour and a half walk from Bell Street. Yeah, it's pretty, exactly. It's quicker to walk there than it is to drive. Yeah. It's a two album walk. Yeah. Two al- a two album walk. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's about a four album drive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that. That is the worst road in Melbourne. Sydney Road? Yep. Uh, I, I mean, it's pretty bad. I've, yeah. I would put in my... It's not Hoddle. Yeah, I put in my word for Hoddle. Oh, yeah. My vote for Hoddle and Pun, Pun Road. Dri- driving a truck down Hoddle, Hoddle yeah, no. on bin day and you're hitting every other bin onto the road behind you. It's what? terrifying. We, we were... I have spatial, in? yeah, I was, and oh, I have okay. really bad like spatial awareness, so I was clipping bins left where I said. <laughs> Drive a <to> truck. <laughs> I was spatial like spatial awareness was, problem. Yeah, it was like a, I was like a lighting roadie type thing situation. Yeah, so right. like big, like um, four ton. Like it was as wide as you could get a truck. Yep, truck, and then like probably like a bit longer than a six, a three ton. Jesus. Like, yeah, it's like, terrifying. I don't, I don't want to. I hate driving trucks. Ah, even yeah, even the ones. I only get new glasses license. every five years. Like I can't see for shit either. Really? Yeah. I, at night, nothing. I've never seen you wear glasses. No, nah, I, I like a bit of mystery in my life. Like I'm <laughs> blind as a yeah. Um, but, uh, do you still have your um, heavy vehicle license? No, we... uh, no, no. Do you still have a license? I've still got a car license. Yeah. Yeah. I drive like once every few months. Like. Oh, unless What's, it's band practice. That, yeah, right. Every, yeah. every week. The, the yeah. Yeah. Every week. Oh, but like to like drive for myself, I guess. Jesus. Like, yeah. Yeah. Just walk. Yeah. If, if you walk, you can have a beer. I never thought of it that way. I didn't. I, and then you never yeah. have to park. Yeah, I had a theory for years that it, I wouldn't get caught drink driving if I just never had a license. What? <laughs> <laughs> Can you, can you take us, can you walk us through the logic of that uh, one? There was none. There was zero. So, yeah. But eventually I was just like, this is the dumbest move ever. Just go get your license and don't drink. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. But I was always worried that, you know, like, because I never tr- drank and drove, but it was always after I drank and waking up and then okay. driving and get blowing over. Yeah. It's kind of like a family thing where we get done like the next afternoon after a bad big drinking session. So, yeah. I like can really get the breathalyzer things, but if you're going to the cops, they won't let you compare the reading to their ones. Yeah. They're like, oh, no, unless we pull you over, you, when you're not blowing into our breathalyzer, it's just like, but I want to make sure this works right. Yeah. I just wait 24 hours now. If I drink, I won't drive for 24 hours. That's just a makes life way easier and way safer. So, you know. Yeah, don't drink and drive, kids. No, so, it's a yeah. dumb move. But, yeah. yeah the Sorry, eye, I'm, I'm, racking, I'm racking my brain to think of any crimes that I can join in on the story. Really? With. Are, you, are you a big crime? No, I'm not. I'm, really? not, I'm not a criminal. No. no. Well, you know. Well, yeah. Yeah. So there's, there's For the record, then, I'm not a criminal. Yeah, yeah. There's crimes and then there's There's crimes, crimes. and there's crimes. Yeah. 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 There's the ones that are just like, oh. Yeah. You can do that. And then there's the ones that are like, oh, fuck. Yeah, I, I think I'm the, yeah, I'm not much of a criminal. Okay. Yeah, I stole something from a shop once, felt guilty, took really? it back. Okay. Uh, confessed. Okay. And uh, apologised. And the people were like, it's a bit weird. And I was like, yeah. You're like, okay, I'll just take it back then. Yeah, I was like, eight. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. I freaked out. And I was like, I'm going to have to take this back. So I took it back, gave it back to them and told them that I'd done it. And they were just like, okay. I don't think I ever store. stole from a store. Bigger, like I consumed things in stores. Ah. Oh. Like you'd go, like if you're going for, to the movies at like a shopping center, you'd go into like the supermarket, open like the Paddle Pops or like a Cornetto and eat one and then go to the movie. So then no, you didn't don't, have don't to you have the eat ice it, like, in oh, but the you movie? already had one. You're like, oh, I'm good. I've already seen, had an ice cream. <laughs> so you're like preloading yeah, you're on pre- the snacks pre-loading before the movie. Snacks. And then it's just like, well, I didn't steal it. I couldn't so help. This is a inside restaurant. Me. I'm just yeah. using the dining premises. 
of the supermarket. <laughs> That's it. That's an interesting way to look at it. Though. Like most people would like try and sneak food into the theater. You're trying to sneak yeah. food. Into, into me, <laughs> and just, then into the theatre. It's like three layers. It's inception of. It. I just like the idea of like, like pre-snacking before the film, and then just watching a whole three-hour film with no snacks, being like, "No, I'm good." It's right. also yeah. like the anxiety of like I I suck at sitting through a film. Like I go for walks. Really? Yeah. Like I don't. I can't sit still. Um, Did- like this. This has been a long time. Um, but like. Um, yeah, so it's like I I need to be like okay in myself to like sit through a whole film. Be like, I'm not even going to go to the bathroom because I snacked earlier. Like I'm all set. It's like a long car ride. It's like, have you gone to the bathroom? Yeah. Like, have you got some comic books to read if you get bored? Like, oh my god. Yeah. I, I yeah no I couldn't go to the movies with you. <laughs> no. I, no. I don't. I, I don't would go. Fucking lose it. How do you do on? I mean, if we're gonna fly to Sydney, like, how are you gonna cope on the? Airplane. Oh, like, well, you're definitely getting the aisle seat. Read a book and um, you, I do stand up a bit. Okay. What are you going to eat at the airport before you get on the plane? <laughs> Nothing. $17 Nothing. Uh, packet of chips, yeah. please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would you just go into like, you know, have those little news agencies and just like read the magazine before you get on the plane? No, I'm just like a couple of Valium, like beer, and then just like chill. For that hour. And like a half, Marvin Gaye. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no. Yeah, so the preloading on the snacks got yeah. me fascinating as well. I just don't. Do you do that with anything else in your life? Preload? Coffees? What? No, coffee is like a how time. You, yeah, how do you preload? It's just like, coffee? oh, I'm not going to have time later. I'd better have like an extra coffee now. Yeah. So, do, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It might don't not know. work. I don't know. No, I'm, I'm a very specific timed coffee person. Really? So, yeah. I have to have one. You know, for everyone's interest. Um, I have to have one in the morning and then one at about 2 p.m. For those following at home. Yeah. Yeah. F- for the that's, listener. Yeah. That's not a bad... I think um, the half-life of caffeine is four hours. So that's how long it takes right. to get half of it out of your system. So if you kind of do it in those so like, time brackets, yeah. then I can go to sleep. Right. Yeah, right. Because I think I'm terrible, but I'll drink eight coffees. But I always try and stop before three o'clock. Yeah, I mean, I've had my time when I was at uni and stuff, yeah. you know, drinking like a million coffees, buzz. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what it is. I, don't, I think it... But is, is that it... not loading for later? No, I think if you're stopping just... at three o'clock and like, you know, that's going to get you through to like... No, it's just so I can sleep. Time. I stop it. I, I'd keep... Yeah, but it's going to get you through until you're ready to sleep. No, that's it loading, doesn't. Isn't it? it doesn't because I get it to about six o'clock and I literally go, oh, fuck, go yeah. with the coffee. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's just, I have to stop. But I think I drink coffee all the time so I can have a cigarette. Yeah, okay. That's like my vice. I'm like, well, if I have a coffee, you have to have a cigarette. But it's yeah. quite nice. Yeah. It's one of life's greatest enjoyments. Yeah. Like, yeah. Caffeine and Coke. Yeah. Caffeine and cigarettes, Coke and a joint. Like, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm not, I don't smoke. So, what, you know. Ah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not a, I used to, but I don't know. So, talking to people about weed a lot on the weekend and the amazing things it can do now. Like, oh, it still does the same things. It's just people yeah. are yeah, just but the way that they again. can. Yeah. Well, I was talking to a friend of mine, and a, my friend grows it commercially, legally, like the legal weed that you buy through prescription stuff. And they, I would just said, you know, what they can do, and they like literally can make specific to what you want for you know like the no head or body yeah or, or head you know with low high cbd low thc whatever they can just target it and i was just like fuck like that's yeah it's so like, beyond um, just growing weed in the fucking bush and going and hoping that it gets sun you know it's a lot it's like what are the flowers that everyone cross pollinates all the time they're like all the real fancy flowers don't know. And like you can have like thousands of species. I not I have a, um, orchids. orchids. Orchids, yeah. 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 It's like that. But like it's, it's not, so easy yeah. to crossbreed and to manipulate. Yeah. I think but I think all the marijuana stuff is like cannabinoid. It's like in the lab. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. a lot of the like stuff. that stuff is like 
semi lab, like you're yeah. crossbreeding two different things and yeah. creating yeah. something new. Yeah, I think they kind of, he was saying how they whittle down seeds. Okay. So they'll start with like, say, a thousand seeds and they'll whittle it down to 500. And then from 500, they'll go to 250. And then out of that 250, they'll just grow all these, all this weed. Yeah. So, yeah. But I was just fascinated. Like, imagine doing that for a job. Yeah. Yeah. I almost applied for a job, actually, at a <laughs> cannabis. Um, no, like a legally, well, yeah, a legally one. Yeah. Like a, a legal farm, whatever, doing, yeah. like, chemical regulations, because that's the boring thing I do day to day. Um, what? But, yeah, but then I was kind of like, Hold I don't on. know if having this on my resume, like, what job can I get after I've done yeah. my job? <laughs> Yeah, no, it's, a, so, yeah, it's going to be a booming yeah, industry. Yeah. So, well, it's even for the like you, you can get it for anxiety, and like I can get it. Yeah, but I'm like I'm not ready to be on a register in Australia. If I went to a, the states on holidays, I'd buy it. Yeah, and I'd sign up, but I'm yeah. not being on a register here. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. They can't even fix my gov. Like I'm not being on a <laughs> weed <laughs> register. Like, fuck. Uh, yeah, they can't fix my gov either. I got yeah. kicked out of it. I only found out this week. I'm like out. I'm like, how do you get kicked out of my cover? I thought this was like the one thing. Oh, it's you like need. every six months I get a email saying my ABN's being turned off because I don't use it. And it's like, but I need an ABN for music royalties. And sure, it's only two bucks every six months. But it adds That's up. my two bucks. That's my dim sim. Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, I don't know. I, don't I, I think dim sims have gone 60. up now. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. Hold on. Now I'm fascinated. What do you do for on day to day life? You want to talk uh, about it? I'm looking for work at the moment. So for the listener, if anyone's, uh, you know, looking to hire someone, um, yeah, I, I work in like chemical regulations. So, well, you know, like if you have a chemical product on the market, yeah. as many people do, like food, cosmetics, drugs, whatever, um, someone has to be there and tell you, you know, you're only allowed to use this much of this chemical and this much of this chemical. Whoa. and Yeah. So, yeah. Whoa, yeah. that's that's a very specific but pretty cool job. It's quite dry. I, w- I won't Is lie it? to you, but um, yeah, it's an alright job. Why? Why is it? Why is it dry? I think I, I suppose it's fascinating. You're just reading like to it. law all the time, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you're reading regulations all the time, so. Oh uh, yeah. And talking to like authorities, so it's a bit. It's very formal and yeah. dry, but you know. Yeah. Right. Oh, I, I didn't expect to bring this up on the podcast, no. brother. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was like in my head. I'm like thinking, you know, like you mix it shit together, and but that's just me. Nah. Yeah, I, I jump straight to the the potions. Yeah. 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 The, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not an alchemist, but uh, you know. Yeah. I did go to uni but, for that kind of stuff, but I didn't end up working in it. But yeah. You could tell people what to do if they were alchemists. Yeah. You'd be like, no. You yeah. Use that. You cannot. I think alchemy, like, um, big tangent, but I think the whole point of alchemy was like trying to turn random stuff into gold. Yeah, pretty much. So, I mean, yeah. who fucking needs... I mean, I guess you need gold and computer chips and things like that, but... Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you do need gold and computer chips. There you go. So, you know, there's still a place in this world for alchemy. And we, aren't yeah. we... Uh, don't we have remnants of gold in us as well? Pro- probably. In our body? I think yeah. we do. Yeah, we'd have I to. I don't know. I, don't I know. mean, I don't think yeah. we'd have to. No, I maybe. Think, I think... Oh, we're, we're probably full of matter, soft plastics. Look, yeah, too much microplastics, mate. Yeah, yeah that's, all all the gold. Yeah. Microplastics. that's how we yeah. keep dry. Like, yeah. 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 All that turtles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, although, oh. I, you, when you do see that, they've, they've got that big thing in the ocean that's just all fucking plastic, don't they? Yeah, the islands. The islands? Yeah. That's fucking insane. Yeah. The ones where it gets, like, reclaimed by wildlife are kind of cool. What? Where it's like birds and stuff start inhabiting things. But I think that's a lot like, yeah, it's not as much the plastic islands. It's like um, sometimes with oil spills and stuff, they've tested like putting mushroom spores on them and stuff and they become like inhabitable areas, really? like out in sea and stuff. Yeah. I'm sure there's something we can do with all those things. Oh, don't look at me. I'm Anyone? Well, I, I, think uh, yeah, I'm not, I can't I think know. of anything. <laughs> Although I guess if it, you know, um, kind of coagulates into one bunch, Mass. surely they could just get a big scraper and scrape it up. net or something and put it together. Where do you just put it? Like, do you like um, oh, yeah, true, Futurama true. shoot it into the sky? 
to see what variant. happens. And then, like, in like 50,000 years, you've got to send another giant ball of trash up to bounce it away. I remember that episode. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I haven't watched it, so I can't join in on the yeah. banter, but sounds good. That was pretty much the something okay. up pretty well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was the whole show. That okay. was it. Yeah. I think it might have been two. <laughs> Two-parter. <laughs> yeah, two-parter. Wild. Wild. Yeah. Was that on the one where they did the movies? And they're like, I don't know. I can't remember. I don't know. It was on all random, so you could never follow stuff. It was like yeah. Simpsons. Some They wouldn't play it in order. Yeah. Well, Just do like... They, do they still have the Simpsons on TV? This is... I don't have a TV. Not, you know, not to get all Yeah, I've gotten rid of bougie, my TV in yeah. my bedroom. Really? Yeah. I had like 50 inch in my room for like years, for like 15 years. And then just like earlier this year, I'm like, I haven't turned it on in six months. Yeah, right. And like now I don't have it. And just like my room is just my bedroom. That's so nice. Really I, weird yeah. feeling. I have to say as a woman, if I go into a guy's room and it's just like a small room and the only thing that's in there is like a 50 inch TV. Um, that's not cute. Yeah, yeah. So I'm with you on that decision. Yeah, someone pointed out and it was just like, that's quite intimidating. I was like, yeah, it is quite a big presence. Okay, yeah. Like, oh, the TV's intimidating. The TV, right. Yeah, no one said that to anything else. Nothing else. Uh, ever. Yeah. <laughs> that's an interesting way to look at it yeah. though because, yeah, I don't think as a, 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 when I was, this is a long time ago, they didn't make TVs 50 inches when, I was last single. But yeah, I can't remember being single and ever having a TV in my room. But just a big black screen. It's like, could you cover it with art or something? I don't know. It's yeah. just like, I mean, like, fuck, like, what's on your YouTube, man? Like, I know when I'm turning that on, it's going to be like, fucking, I don't know, like some weird, it's, it's going to be like Family Guy. And then, like, you know, it's just. Oh, you, 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 yeah, I get what you're it's saying. It's going to be like, you just like sit there and just like watch this massive screen on your own and it's just not the vibe for me. Waste away. But yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, everyone who's out there doing that right now. Yeah. 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 Oh God, I bedroom. hope no one's watching this on a 50 inch yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not 50 inch. Please be, please be an iPhone <laughs> screen. Yeah. 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 Fucking hell. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, like, I don't know. TV in the bedroom. It's a, yeah, it, it's definitely a couple's game. Yeah. Yeah. It is. <laughs> I mean, I read books on my phone now. That's the weird thing what? for me. How are you not wearing glasses? Hey? How are you not wearing glasses? They've got this thing on there that you can make like the screen black and just the words white. Okay. Dark mode. Yeah, something like that. And yeah, like because I'll plow through books, but I did it so I didn't have to have the light on all the time because Leanne falls asleep mm -hmm. like at least six hours before I even look like sleeping. So instead of having the light on all the time and disturbing her, it was to put them on the phone. Yeah. And I thought it would revolution, you know, oh, great, you know, but it hasn't. I miss books. I miss being able to. It's just the tangible mm. nature of them. I've gotten really big into um, audiobooks. It's what helped me stop watching TV uh. because I could like, do things while I was like listening. Li listening, like play guitar or like even just like you're real tired and you just hop into bed and audiobooks and you don't have to look at things. Yeah. And like it helped that I was like initially getting free ones on YouTube because there's a lot of free yeah. audiobooks on there. And that meant that I couldn't even look at my phone yeah. because it's playing a YouTube clip. So you'd have to stop it. Yeah. I was just like, so you don't ready. have YouTube Premium? That's no, I don't. I didn't even pay for Spotify until like two years ago. Until like oh, a year and a half ago. Until I was like doing some acid in the backyard, and like we had this weird, real weedy section with like big weeds this high, and they were just swaying the breeze. And like I was playing a playlist, and every time like an ad would come on, they'd stop dancing, and like the weeds would just look at me. And I like then and there like paid for Spotify. I just, I just want, want the weeds to keep dancing. Yeah, I'm just like, oh man. I will pay my seven ninety nine yeah, a month I'm up. to make the weeds dance. <laughs> I was just letting them down with the tunes. Jesus. And they're just looking at me. They're like, are you a child? I'm like, yeah. Um, you disappointed the weeds. I disappointed the weeds. So now it's Spotify. 
But yeah, it takes like Jesus. I hope Spotify don't AI this to find out how they can sell more Spotify. (laughs) Spike the water. Spike the water. They do it, man. They do it. Hundred percent. Like all they just see is dollar signs. Yeah, everyone on SSRIs just don't get affected. So like everyone who's depressed yeah. normally is just walking around having a normal time. Normal everyone else time. is high. Yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. Well, well, I suppose. At least you don't get the ads now. Do the, yeah. put, do the weeds still dance? <laughs> oh, I've moved house. Oh, yeah. fuck. Fuck. We had, we had to cut them out. Got the whippersnipper. Yeah, right. So they're quite... Oh, yeah. They were this high. There was like a... Must have been a granny flat or something that had been knocked down. And it was all like bricks and like glass and stuff in the soil so you couldn't mow it yeah, right. like in this section and yeah they were, they were good it was a forest how often do you use Spotify now? Spotify all the or? time <laughs> yeah like, I yeah. constant like I've been struggling Actually, since Neil Young's not been on it um, like, I don't I know had, whether to take you seriously or not <laughs> no no seriously really? like yeah like t- since Neil Young why did he been, do that again? Rogan? I, oh, I don't even know right. who that guy is, to be Joe honest. Joe Rogan. Yeah, Speaking of hallucinogenics. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's the only thing I know He loves about them, him. yeah. But yeah, I know he's got, there's like a Neil Young website where you can like just all the listen archives? to- All the Yeah, all the archives oh and everything. But I think it's like 10 bucks a month. So maybe this yeah, summer, but- get some weeds to convince me to listen to it. <laughs> I just miss waking up on a Saturday morning and like having a coffee and listening to Neil Young in bed. Oh, I think I listen to Old Man. Oh, can't. No, can't. 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 Yeah. Thanks, Neil Young. Thanks, um, Neil Young. But no, th- those archives are apparently phenomenal. Like they're just not only massive, but they're phenomenal. I've not looked into them. I've heard a couple. Well, you can't look into them because you're not paying $10 I'm a month. I'm not paying $10 a month. Yeah. yeah. Neil's got me. Damn. Sure you can claim that. The ten dollars. Yeah. Say Last like Chance has Neil Young Tuesdays. Yeah. From three to four. Well, I think we can do it as because it's music related. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. My account I don't think you'd let that pass past but I know, but yeah. it's meant like I've had to get into bands like and it's gonna upset you, like Wilco. Correct. And like <laughs> Built for Spill. Really? They're like my Neil Young replacements. Really? Yeah. Not not a Wilco fan? Um, I don't I'm not a hater. I just like I just don't. I've tried to get into Wilco so many times because so many people like Wilco, and every time I'm like, "This is the most boring thing I've ever." I can honestly heard. say I've never tried to get into Wilco. Yeah. I mean, if you do, well done. Because yeah, every I've time I've tried, tried to listen to it, I'm like, I don't understand. No. Yeah, no, I, I didn't, I didn't try. That That's just how happened. it happened. I actually, yeah. think is the guitarist Nels Klein. Yeah. Yeah, like he's a really good guitarist, he and I really wild. like a lot of his guitar work. But then I listen to Wilco, and I'm like, what? So, Hold on. Who yeah. got you into Wilco? I just want to know whether it's these weeds or not. No, I think it might have been even a YouTube pop up. Like it might have been a live when they were like their first lineup. Yeah, right. And I was just like, oh, I was just like, I was getting into like some more strict hardcore and country at the same time. That's like, a vicious combination. But it's like you go to a hardcore show and everyone loves country. It's like yeah. the pop oh, yeah. out. Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. it's it's like hooky tunes for hardcore kids. Yeah, I mean, I listen to country whenever I can as well. It's yeah. the same thing. Every, well, it's country music. It's like the original fucking. Well, it's the original white people angry music. Yeah, shooting mm. each other. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like it's. And now, yeah. now we have hardcore. So. Yeah, now we have hardcore. Yeah. Well, it's <laughs> now just a natural. Yeah, yeah. 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 natural to the kind. Yeah. yeah, just shorter. Oh no! Well, yeah, shorter, faster. Just sped up the. Because there's that there's that documentary series, um, like Tales from the Tour Bus. Oh yeah, Mike Is that the, Judd. Yeah, the Judge. cartoon one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like he he's like introduction to that whole thing is like, on the same day that NWA's first album came on, and there was all this backlash of like they can't talk about shooting people and stuff. The like the number one album on the country charts was someone who had been convicted for murder. <laughs> like, I've, I've, the country yeah, always does it's been it. Been a long yeah, time yeah. since I watched them in one of the lockdowns. That I forgot about that. Yeah, I always go back to them because it's like, oh, who was that little artist? Like, I don't. know, I'm yeah. a documentary. Like, I'm a nerd. Like, yeah. 
<coughs> oh, that's that's the that's the bell. Oh no! Yeah, get well, to go to recess. Yeah. Um. So I can't believe you've played one gig. I'm gonna have Why to... is that hard to believe? <laughs> I, well, I just didn't think that. I thought you. Yeah, I was trying to do the math on it, and I was like, Yeah. Yeah. But the next one is 3.03. Yeah, this Friday. This Friday. Yeah. Keep your so, eyes out. Yeah. So it would have already happened, I'm assuming. Yeah, I don't oh, know yeah it probably would have happened. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a good gig. Oh, yeah, it, was it was fucking amazing. Gig, yeah. Fucking uh, yeah. Yeah. Also, also yeah. did the handstands. Yeah. Yeah. Back off the stage. Yeah. yeah. The full shebang. Yeah. Aldi bass in hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got the yeah. Aldi bass back, yeah. Yeah. I, imagine, I can imagine how fucking long that would have been. It was heavy. Yeah. 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 MDF. Probably. I yeah. mean, they're not using fucking maple on an Aldi base. <laughs> what, what kind of glue they used to glue the fretboard down? Uh, PVC. Melted PVC, down yeah. animal bone. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's probably not even that. It's probably just like that clag. Yeah. Like the paste. Oh, delicious. Yeah. yeah. Like, do not, do not play any bass run on this as the glue will heat up yeah. and yeah. fall off. Facial. Yeah. Right, so yeah. second gig done. Yeah, what's uh, what's the next gig after three hundred three? And has it? I don't know if it's been announced. Yeah, there's a there's a few. There's a bunch. Yeah. I, I was going to get my phone out, but then I felt rude. No, it was we're sitting at a table. Yeah, yeah. But um, like, it's like we're having breakfast. Yeah, so yeah. I wouldn't get my phone out. Yeah, yeah. but you don't get. I'm going to look at you in the eyes, like yeah, yeah the whole breakfast. Yeah, it's creepy. Well, yeah, I look forward to it. When is you, when are you going to record the album soon? I reckon start of next year. Start of next year. Yeah, yeah give us some time. Yeah. Playing the heap of gigs means like we don't have to practice the set and you can just jam yeah. Like yeah. once a week. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. 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 And when is coming up last chance next? There is one. Yeah. yeah. Billiam's launch. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Which I don't think we're allowed to technically okay. talk oh, about. Yeah, All right, we'll, we'll cut, cut, that. cut that up. <laughs> I th- there, there is one. There is one. Th- and it is at the last chance. Yeah. Keep your eyes peeled for the uh, yeah, shove we'll and that. show with very special No, we don't, we don't have to cut up, but we can just say, yes, it's at the last chance. Yeah. 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 Um, so I'm led to believe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. Like, yeah, so many gigs get, like, announced earlier or, like, later, and I don't know what's what. I don't keep up. Yeah, I even look at it, like we were talking of Google calendars before. I've got like four Google calendars, and the worst thing is they like overlap with one another with different like sometimes the same gig will come up like three times mm. from four different Google calendars. Oh wow! And I just go, I don't know, what, I don't know. And then I you don't know. attend it. It's hey. just like there's too much pressure. So you've been reminded four reminded times. All the time. Well, the ones here, they remind me like all the time because I set reminders for them, and it's. That's all right. Yeah. Like, you know, but ones at other places that I put in myself to go, I always put the wrong date. (laughs) (laughs) Remind me like 45 times. Yeah. You know, you're meant to be going to see Charging Stallion at such and such. Yeah. yeah. Which is, yeah, I only found out today that I'd put one of a gig in my calendar on the wrong date. In the end, I'm telling people, oh, yeah, I'll see you next Saturday at. Lilies, and they're like, "Why? Why?" You, you, you yeah, didn't take like... it to the next level and like turn up and be like, "Oh, you know, charging stallions sound different." Yeah. And then it's like uh, someone totally. Have different. you ever done that? Rocked Turned up, up to the a wrong gig. gig. R- rocked up on the wrong day. I, I think actually I think have. I did have. I have. Okay. Several times. D- were you like confused, or were you like, "Oh, no, I immediately figured, realized. I immediately figured it out. Okay. Just went, "Oh shit." Yeah. I rocked up like hours early or late like misread the start time so bad like i think it was like a month ago there's a gig at fairfield bowls club with like cherish and a bunch of like sick band out, oh out yeah right. i had to miss that one because i thought it was on at night it, yeah, and then well, it was during the day yeah it was on from one to five but the poster said 5 p.m and i'd missed the one Mom. till and i was like oh. sweet been at a house party till 4 a.m Going to walk down from Coburg to Northcote, get some ramen, then go to like a bowls club gig. And I was like halfway to the gig and I had to like jump in an Uber. Yeah. Did you make for it, make it for any of it? Yeah. I like just missed the first half of the first band. Oh, luckily. I'd given win. myself so much time to like yeah, you absorb were, no, ramen, you ramen and like, yeah. The ramen walk. Yeah. Yeah. 
I was in there. Genius. Well, thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you all again. Thanks for having us. Yeah, uh, thanks, thanks for having for us. Thanks for doing it. Hopefully we'll see you all soon. Yeah. Gaz, what am I meant to do at the end again? There you go. Hit that button. Hit that button. <laughs> Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please don't comment. Please don't comment. I don't want to know. Yeah, well, we won't read them anyway. Uh, unless like you got some good tips. Yeah. But they won't. If you have a passcode for Neil Young's archives. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hit us up. If you want to share your access. Yeah. I'll be a family member. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Tell just Uncle Neil just, it's just fine. Just deal off a, yeah. off a family membership. Yeah. <laughs> I drink fucking Surely. Yeah. Yeah. Neil. I'll say I'm a farmer. Yeah. And like, yeah. But got- how much is Spotify a week? A month? Seven ninety nine. I don't no, know. I don't, I don't know. It just comes out of my bank account. But why does Neil like took himself off and then went, I'll just do you one better and he was $2 and one cent He more. was already obsessed with like, quality of music and stuff so yeah. i think he had it in the works anyway he was i going. think he was like talking to apple about doing something with them he did yeah i think that's where the archives thing started yeah and then he was like he's just like fuck it i'll do it myself yeah good for neil yeah good for God him. Bless him yeah it's hard to believe he's still alive it's wild i still haven't like high-fived him i don't know i feel like that i is spent on that by now oh, just a- let's hope we haven't cursed him on this on my quest podcast yeah and he drops. And he drops. I don't know. I'd, I'd Graceland him and get a bit of dirt. Would yeah. you? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. All right. See you guys. See you. <laughs> like, Bye. comment, say hi to Gaz. <laughs>